And what's going on? It's your boy Joe Fontaine, the VIP Satellite, and I'm back on Machine 1.8. And I just want to cover uh, dragging and dropping MIDI to your desktop as well as saving your patterns. Now, I know we covered this um, before a long time ago, but there are people who are new to Machine. And I just wanted to just go ahead and, and do this tutorial over and, and give it a more updated um, sound quality and video quality. So, um, for example, here's the beat pattern that we did in the last video. All right, simple little beat. But let's say if I wanted to save the MIDI uh, to my desktop, um, it's really easy um, how you do that. Basically, what you do is you go over here and you go to Sound and MIDI Batch Setup. Make sure that you have the Sounds to MIDI Channels icon here highlighted and press Apply, as I already have that done already. And you just go here to the Drag to Host icon here. You hold it down and just give that a little sec and you see it turns this little icon here and you just simply bring it to your desktop like so very simple very easy and there are our midi notes and we can import those and i'll do a video also on import options we'll get into that where you can import mpc um, mp or rather mpc pgm files because machine will will read mpc files midi files and things of that nature now <clears throat> that was across a group level and you also can um let's go to let's restore the defaults on this right quick i want to show you something else right quick we'll restore defaults press apply now we'll do the audio we'll change this to pattern drag mode audio because you don't have to just do it uh across a group level you can do it across a, um, a sound level also but let's say if I wanted to drag and drop this audio to the desktop I just simply hold this icon down get and we just gotta you know give that a little second and boom it's ready and we drop it right there you see the length on it 15 seconds <clears throat> excuse me it says wave sound and it's as easy as that now, keep in mind, you also can save your patterns. For example, we're on a group level here. So right here, this would be my second pattern. This is the first pattern. Now, if I right click on here, I can press save as. Okay, when I press save as, you see it comes up as pattern and pad, which basically, you know, means machine pattern. You know, you name your loop as I got these two loops here. Now, this is my, on my laptop. So I have this, this is like completely blank this computer like I got to put like a lot of stuff I'm, I'm basically migrating some files over to to this is very tedious but anyway and you and you name your loop all right so now in the future when you come back you have that pattern you might want to use that pattern with some different sounds a, a different drum kit whatever the case may be mix and match different patterns together because again this right here is on a group level as I'm, I'm on group here now on a sound level if I go to a sound level Okay, it's a little bit different. Like, let's say if I just wanted to save, um, for example, these hi hats here. Let me make sure this. Okay, yes, yeah, the hi hats. The hi hats right there. See, what you can do is you can right click on the sound. You can press save as. Notice how it changes now. It says sound here instead of pattern. You can see right here, this is one little hi hat. No, that's a snare I saved and it's saying half and quarter. So it's saving it on, the, you know, every, every second beat and fourth beat. So. You can save uh, patterns on kicks, snares, hi hats, uh, whatever the case may be. Okay, now that's on the sound level. So I thought that was pretty cool, and I thought that was a pretty um, important uh, tip to show. And you also can do the same with your MIDI notes, also. So let, let's do one of those right quick. I'll show you. So let's go to Sound MIDI Batch Setup, Sounds to MIDI Channels. We'll click apply. Same thing. Let's have one to do these hi hats. I press save as. Same thing. See, but now we're on a we're on a MIDI note level now. But it's still saying sound. Okay. So that's pretty much how you do that as far as drag and dropping uh, MIDI or sounds to your desktop, and as well as saving your patterns, whether whether they be MIDI patterns and um, 
Well, actually, I think the sound patterns would be saved as MIDI also, but I think Machine saves the sounds with that. But uh, to be on the safe side, what you can do, you know, just in case, when you press save, you can, pre you can press save project with samples. And what it'll do, it, it'll take that project with all the sounds and samples, and you select the project folder, and you save it. And what happens is you get the basically the um, machine icon on the matter of fact let me just go ahead and do one so you can get a full grasp we don't want to fly we, we don't want to skip past anything here let's let's go ahead and save this project with the samples like so project we'll select where we want it let's say if i want to put it on the desktop so we can see that really easy we'll press save the icon appears well it will well it will appear we'll press save and now it appears over there. Now, here's the project right here. Okay, so if you want to save a project with your friends, that's basically how you do that. Right here's the samples. These are all the samples that we just used. Okay, in this particular uh, little project here. So now what happens is, if you send a file to a friend, if you want to share it, if you just send this particular file right here, Without these samples, it's not, they're not going to be able to open it. It's going to say missing, excuse me, it's going to say missing samples. So you don't want to do that. So if you want to save a, a project with a friend, make sure that you save the sample files with that. Okay. All right. So that's pretty much on this um, little small little module here. Just support Joe Fontaine, the VIP Sound Lab. And I will see you guys on the next one.